Brothers, brothers, brothers. Wow, this uh the rapper, the baby, and Danny Lay situation. Now, I'm not too familiar with either one of these people, uh, these young people, uh, but this came uh, up on my radar yesterday. I saw a lot going on with it. And I like to take these opportunities to uh, to teach and see what we can learn from these situations. Now, the situation uh, that's going on between these two is uh, is nothing new between a man and a woman. Uh, this is highlighted, of course, because they're celebrities. Uh, you know, they're they're uh, polarizing individuals. Uh, they have huge followings, and so uh, this is going to be heightened. But this goes on every day uh, between man and woman. Every day, uh, this is nothing new. It's been going on. Now, like I said, I want to attack this thing from a uh, a teachable moment or a teachable view and see what we can learn. And so, uh, hey, let's get into it. Get your glasses up, get your glasses up, a toast to the men. Now, I saw a few videos of these two individuals, the baby and Danny Lay, uh, his child's uh, mother, having a confrontation. Uh, they were going back and forth, a lot of inflammatory words uh, were being thrown back and forth. And, uh, you know, a lot of disrespect dished out from both parties. Uh, but I wanna dissect this a bit and I won't be long, I wanna dissect this and, and just give you my viewpoint of what I saw and how this could have been avoided and how you guys can avoid this in the future. Now, brothers, when you are going to break up with a chick, with a woman, never, never do it in your home. Never. Play it cool. Do not attempt to cut it off with the woman in your home. It's not going to end up well. Women are emotional. Uh, like whether they like to admit it or not, they are control freaks. And they'll let you know in their way it ain't going down like that. They may refuse to leave uh, like this young lady did, refuse to leave. He may start breaking up your stuff. Uh, that's uh, this thing. These things have happened to me, and I'm not a celebrity. Uh, many brothers have gone through this, and so uh, never, never break up with the woman in your home. She can get emotional, try to convince you uh, to to have second thoughts about breaking up. It can get ugly, so you got to have a plan, and not make an emotional decision. The baby made an emotional decision by trying to break it up with this young lady in his home. It was a spare of the moment. He didn't give it much thought. He just reacted. Not a good thing. What happens? He tells her to leave. She doesn't want to leave. Uh, she eventually assaults him. So there's, there's two assault charges on her right now. She was arrested. Uh, you know, it got very disrespectful, but this is why you don't break up with women in your home. You know, now, is every woman going to react the way she reacted? No, but we're not speaking to the exception, <laughs> right? We're not, we're not doing that. When a woman loves you, it is not wise to break up with her in your home. I promise you, have a plan, calm down. Be strategic, all right? This is where the baby failed. Now, from the two videos I saw, he also failed uh, in his behavior uh, on a few things. For one, he was antagonizing her. He was hitting below the belt. He was trying to get under her skin. He was poking. He was. Uh, 
that's not the way to behave as a man. You know, that's actually feminine energy. Now, she's not off the hook. She could have left. She decided not to leave. She decided to stay for that abuse. She did. So she has to be accountable for that. She did decide to stay for that abuse. But this channel, uh, this podcast is called A Toast to the Men. So we focus on men, can't control women, but we focus on how we should behave and how to avoid certain things. So never antagonize, never hit below the belt, uh, never uh, put gasoline on the flame. It was already a heated situation uh, that that was starting to go very left. And so you don't want to put gasoline on the flame and, and have that thing really explode, which it did. It exploded. Uh, did he get what he wanted? Maybe. Just not a good look. Uh, it's just not the way men should behave and move. Uh, so I don't agree with him on that. Uh, another thing I don't agree with is he said several times uh, uh, she uh, was a side chick. Now, if that's the case, uh, that's that's perfectly fine. But my concern is not so much for her, not for her at all, really. My concern is for the child, brother. Like, this stuff is recorded. And you recorded this. You went live, which I don't agree with, unless it was to protect yourself. But he did have witnesses there that had their phones. That could have been a line of protection as well. I don't think he had to go live to protect himself. But, yes, you should protect yourself. I don't think that he needed to go live, though, to do that. There were witnesses there with their phones, like I said. But he kept calling her a side chick. And, and brothers, this is what you have to think about, man. You have to uh, remove yourself uh, and even remove that woman uh, you're in conflict with from the big picture. And the big picture is a child is involved. And uh, this stuff is recorded. It's going to come back up at some point. Now your child is only three months old. But eventually, man, uh, they're going to see and hear about this stuff. And brothers, never put yourself in a situation, man, where you could be blamed. Always try to be blameless. Um, you want to say that's taking the high road? Uh, I mean, so be it. I think some of it is taking the high road. I think some of it is just being man, a, a man, being masculine, uh, being orderly, uh, being uh, strategic, being disciplined, and, and not moving on emotion, moving logically. Uh, I saw a lot of feminine behavior coming from this brother. And I saw a lot of masculinity coming from this young woman. Uh, you know, that's that's off balance. And anytime you have uh, an unbalance like that, when people are out of their natural roles, you're going to have conflict. You're going to have... Uh, uh, an explosion, and that's what happened. Now, there was another thing I saw that, that really stood out to me. At one point, on one of these videos, uh, Danny Lay, I believe that's how you say her name, was in the bed breastfeeding. He, he uh, the, the, the baby, the rapper, the baby, not the baby, the baby, wanted her to leave. She wouldn't leave. She's breastfeeding the baby. Uh, while laying on the bed. And while she's breastfeeding, she's saying all these uh, aggressive uh, words towards the father, the baby. And uh, she's cussing him out. Uh, it's hostility, it's aggression. She's yelling while she's breastfeeding. Now I want you to think about that. I don't know a, a, a more feminine position than breastfeeding. I don't know a more vulnerable position than breastfeeding. Uh, it, it's probably, you know, it's definitely more feminine uh, than, than sex and missionary position. Uh, a, a woman is quite vulnerable, you know, feminine in that position too. Uh, but 
there's nothing more uh, loving and nurturing. Yeah, that's the word nurturing and feminine than a woman breastfeeding, right? Uh, now this woman is breastfeeding. She's in this feminine nurturing position doing this nurturing feminine act, but she also is yelling obscenities, uh, disrespect, and uh, showing a lot of masculinity, a lot of aggression while holding and breastfeeding this baby. I mean, that's, that's an oxymoron in itself. That's confusion and conflict. That's displacement in itself. And the thing is, this baby is consuming all of this, this aggression. So now you got a baby who's vulnerable, who's breastfeeding, but they're also consuming this aggression and this anger, this tension while they're breastfeeding. I mean, that got to have some kind of psychological effect on the baby, on the baby, infant. Uh, I don't think I've seen anything like that before, or a baby was breastfeeding and the mom was showing so much aggression and arguing. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, I think that may be a first for me. And uh, my thoughts is, man, how's that gonna affect the baby, the, the infant? Now, as she's doing this, he's poking. He's constantly uh, trying to get on her skin. He said his, his little things to, to provoke her, which is feminine energy. Brothers, we don't do that. Uh, never argue with the woman. Brothers, never, never argue with the woman, ever. Um, it takes you out of your character. Um, but not only that, man, you, you start operating on her frequency. Uh, you, you're to bring order and, and logic and to balance that thing out. Um, women are more emotional, uh, more expressive. Uh, which is a, a bad thing. This is how they're designed. Uh, these can be powerful, powerful tools, uh, righteous tools, not just powerful tools, righteous tools uh, that a woman possesses. But it has to have, have balance. And just like us being uh, assertive, uh, orderly, you know, aggressive, uh, we need balance too. So when I say, you know, the woman is expressive or, or emotional, that's not a bad thing. I'm not using that in, in a bad way, in a bad connotation. But it has to be uh, balanced with masculinity. And that masculinity needs to come from a man. So, man, when you start arguing with the woman, she's totally taking you out of character. Uh, and you're never going to be a woman with emotion. You're, you're out of your lane. Bro, that's not your field. You're never going to beat a woman with emotion, dealing with emotion. She's going to beat you every time if y'all are battling with emotion. The way, I don't even say beat her, but the way to bring her back on course or to silence her is through logic, right? That's how, that's your super weapon. That's one of your superpowers that's in your bag of masculinity. It's logic. But if you try to argue with her based on emotion, you're going to lose. You're going to get angry. Uh, and you might get aggressive, physically aggressive. You're going to lose in that way <laughs> through the courts, through uh, public perception. You're going to lose. Or it just it just brings you off balance, man. Even if the courts or the police don't get involved or the public uh, perception doesn't get involved, you're out, of, you're out of line. She's taking you out of your natural self. And that's not a good thing. And once she does that, and once she figures out she can do that, man, she starts mastering it. And she starts going there more often. And hey, man, she loses respect. And at the end of the day, that's what you want, man. You want her respect. Uh, forget the love, uh, the, the love and how she views love. We view love in a form of respect. And I'm telling you, if you constantly uh, get on her frequency, vibe on her frequency, her feminine frequency, she will not respect you. 
And this is a woman that doesn't respect him. Uh, this isn't the first time, I guarantee. This is the first time they've gone back and forth like this. Uh, she's seen that feminine energy come out of, uh, out of him and she can't respect it. He's seen the masculine energy come out of, out of her and he can't love it, you know, because because he's a heterosexual man. So how can he love uh, masculinity coming from a, from a woman? It doesn't make sense. She's a feminine, she's a heterosexual woman. So how, she, how can she love femininity coming out of a man, right? Now, uh, I don't want people to misconstrue, and I've spoken on this before. Yeah, a man should have 10 to 15% of femininity in him. Uh, he, he, he did come through a woman, uh, and a woman should have 10 to 15% of masculinity coming through her. She is the seed of a man. Uh, but, uh, and that balances it out. You know, we can't walk around as men. We can't walk around not having any feeling, right? Uh, so, but, you know, you should be walking around 50, 60, 70, 80% feminine. You know, <clears throat> that just, it, it doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I think things are out of order in that way. But, uh, yeah, that was interesting, man, to see that woman breastfeeding, but shouting so many aggressive words and showing this aggressive energy, <clears throat> excuse me, about, while breastfeeding. And this guy is steady poking and picking while she's breastfeeding, and he's showing femininity. Uh, but man, I was doing some research, man. Even with the dances, man, this guy has uh, feminine dances. A lot, a lot of shaking of the hips, a lot of twirling. Uh, yeah, the, the the way he's moving his body, dancing, it just, you know, it, it makes sense. You know, and not calling that man a, a you know, a uh, homosexual, anything like that. But there's a lot of feminine energy. Uh, yeah, things are just out of order. And, you know, you got your groups of people that that fight for feminism and fight for equal rights, uh, things like that, man. But uh, I'll tell you, the more we move away from how we were designed, the more we're going to have conflicts like this. Uh, so, uh, he called the police to protect himself, I guess, or I guess there was a bit also to to to, to punish her or harm her. Uh, but I, he knows it's not equal, uh, you know. So he wanted to call the police first before she called. Uh, I'm kind of shocked she went to jail. A lot of times they must have proof. They have proof on camera. But yeah, they got to have proof that she hit him. Because uh, if it was just his word with no proof, I don't think she would go to jail. Uh, no markings and, and no no uh, video. I don't believe she goes to jail. But uh, a man can, will most likely definitely go to jail, even if there's no markings and no proof that he assaulted a woman. I've been in that situation. It's in the book, A Toast to the Man. I mentioned it. So uh, I know how th this thing works. Um, and so I'm not telling you guys anything I don't know, all right? Have a plan <laughs> before you break up with the woman that uh, change the locks. Yes, change the locks, trust me, man. Uh, quick story, and I'm close out. Uh, years ago, young man, me and my, my first wife broke up. She wanted to go back to her hometown. I said, fine, you know. I wasn't chasing her. Uh, I thought it was over, you know. Uh, so I kept the apartment. I'm doing my thing. Uh, just, you know, working. Of course, she's not letting me see my kids. That's the way to, to hurt me. And so, you know, so I'm just going through life, man. Uh, young man, I'm like 22, 21 at the time, uh, 23, something like that. You know, just working, doing my thing, uh, hanging out with the fellows more, whatever. I eventually come across this 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 young lady 
who I had known back in junior high. She lived in my apartment complex. I didn't know this beforehand. So I, I saw her walking through the complex. I'm like, whoa, I've been trying to get with that since the eighth grade. So I went down, we chopped it up. We began to see each other. Now, I did not change my locks to my apartment. So over time, this young lady I'm dealing with, man, she's leaving a, a clothing, piece of clothing uh, or, or two in my apartment, even though she stays in the same complex. You know, that's, that's kind of marking the territory, right? Young man, his own place, his own transportation, making decent money. She want to, you know, state her claim, right? So uh, one day I'm out and uh, I get a call from one of my boys. He said, man, um, old girl contacted another girl who my boy was talking to and said, hey, man, uh, your wife got into your apartment. Now, she's still my wife, but we're separated. And I'm thinking, hey, man, we've got to go through a divorce. Uh, I hadn't seen her. She's keeping my kids from me. Like, I'm moving on. Uh, so, yeah, man, you need to get back to your apartment. I don't know where I was. She's like, you need to get back to your apartment. So I get back to my apartment. And, man, I look around. She's taking my TV. Uh, she took something else. But my clothes, man, all my clothes were cut up or bleached. And my shoes were bleached. She had poor bleach. Man, she messed up the uh, the, the carpet. Uh, crazy, man. And so uh, I had, that was a Sunday. I had to be at work the next day. And all my clothes are either torn, cut up, or bleached. So I'm not wanting to be easily embarrassed, and I'm going to go get the money regardless. Uh, so that morning, I put on some bleach dockers. I was working in an office. I put on some bleach dockers. They were tan, but you can still tell that they were bleached. Some bleached brown shoes, uh, like some Kohans or something, some casual shoes. And my shirt, I was like, damn, man. All my shirts are just messed up. So I went across the street to a corner store that morning, and uh, they had a Bart Simpson, had a bunch of Bart Simpson shirts hanging up in this corner store they were selling. I uh, bought me a Bart Simpson shirt, put it on. Hey, man, tucked in that shirt, and I proceeded to go to work to uh, get my money. Uh, that ain't stopping me from getting my money, man. That's just, you know, so when I went in, I'm the only man that works in this office, right? So the women are looking at me and, and, and clowning me, right? They laughing. And one, I remember one of the chicks saying, Serge, it was a black chick, man. Everybody else was white. All the other women were white. And this one black chick, and I'm the one black dude, the black chick says, Serves you right. You probably was out there acting up. Because it was obvious what happened, man. Brother come in with bleach clothes like that and a bar Simpson shirt. Like, I, didn't, I didn't dress like that, man. I had on nice button downs, usually a polos. So it was obvious. Something went down. <laughs> and so uh, I was like, what? Like, you don't even know what happened. But that just goes to show you, man. This, that's just how they think, a lot of them. Uh, but, you know, technically, I was still married. I, I probably shouldn't have been dating. Hey, but she she moved on. I, I, I thought that was it. But guys, I should have changed the locks. I should have changed the locks. And uh, yeah, point blank period. But yeah, man, operate uh, within your natural energy, uh, which, which is masculinity, man. Uh, do show a bit of compassion and uh, uh, thoughtfulness. You know, you can't walk around like, like a brick. Uh, and women listening, walk around in your femininity, you know, uh, your virtue. That that be your badge of other women, your virtue, not not how you look. And uh, brothers, uh, that that discipline, how disciplined you are, and uh, your scruples, your morals, 
your principles and your badge of honor, not your sexual organ. All right? Let me know what you think. As always, from me to you, love, peace.